I'm making a cake for Earth Day. You know, like Earth's birthday. Earth Day is not Earth's birthday. You don't have to make a cake. Serious? Yeah. Oh, because I don't even know how to make a cake. And I would throw everything away. That's actually what Earth Day is all about. Throwing stuff away? Well, throwing good stuff away and throwing recycling stuff away. Like cans and paper. Mm. Let's learn about Earth Day! Earth Day is celebrated every year on the 22nd of April. It started in 1970 when a U.S. Senator from Wisconsin started this national holiday to create awareness about the environment and how we treat nature. We will talk about this a bit later. Today, this day has become an event that is celebrated internationally in almost 200 different countries. Even though Earth Day started in the U.S., it became celebrated worldwide by 1990. Here is some more information about how Earth Day started. Earth, our planet, is an amazing place, but it needs our help to thrive and survive. More than 1 billion people celebrate Earth Day to protect the planet from things like pollution and deforestation, which means cutting and destroying forests and trees. By taking part in activities like picking up litter and trash on the ground to planting trees, we're trying to make our world a happier and healthier place for everyone to live. Let's talk more about the first Earth Day. The first Earth Day was celebrated in 1970 when U.S. State Senator Gaylord Nelson from Wisconsin put together a national demonstration in order to raise awareness about environmental issues. But actually there were two other key people, peace activist John McConnell and chief organizer Dennis Hayes, who was a student from Harvard University in Massachusetts. Originally, the first Earth Day was created as an environmental teach-in for school children. Rallies and other events took place across the country, and by the end of the year, the USA government had created the Environmental Protection Agency, or the EPA. By 1990, Earth Day was an event celebrated by more than 140 countries around the globe. Now that it is celebrated globally, it is common for it to be celebrated for an entire week. It is estimated that more than 1 billion people celebrate Earth Day in many, many countries across the globe. A whole seven days focused on green awareness and preserving our beautiful planet. So why do we celebrate Earth Day? Every day more and more pollutants pour into our water, air, and land. Pollution in lakes, rivers, and coastal shorelines are becoming dangerous and harmful and it is up to us to recognize these problems and figure out how to solve them. So having a day to create awareness is why we celebrate Earth Day. Speaking of pollution, what is it? Pollution is when water, air, or land becomes dirty and unusable by human beings as well as animals. The most common types of pollution are water pollution, air pollution, land pollution, and agricultural pollution. Household garbage and industrial waste all lead to land pollution. Did you ever think about where the trash goes? Can you imagine how much garbage is created by 7 billion people? Food that has not been fully eaten and thrown away takes up the biggest area in landfills followed by industrial and commercial waste. In just the year 2015, Indonesia 
created almost 65 million tons of waste. This trash was made up mostly by old clothing, pieces of furniture, plastic food scraps, paint, batteries, appliances, and more. That is about one and a half pounds of garbage per person every day. Some of the stuff that we throw away are toxic to our environment, like plastic. Many of these chemicals come from industrial activities and from doing a bad job removing the extra waste and disposing of it the right way. Soil pollution can cause health risks. These chemicals can create harmful vapors or they can contaminate water supplies which are underneath the polluted soil. These chemicals can even reach our oceans, rivers, and lakes. If we really need to throw out our stuff, we should do so properly by bringing them to recycling centers where they can use the materials to make other new products. This is effective in a way to manage our waste and keep them from reaching our landfills. This is the reason why you should practice the three R's, reduce, recycle, and reuse. Water pollution occurs when dangerous foreign substances like chemicals, pesticides, and fertilizers enter into water like rivers, streams, lakes, and even our oceans. Water pollution can affect marine life. For example, dissolved metals waste from farms, factories, as well as crude oil spilled from oil tankers cause water pollution. Raw sewage can cause pathogens to grow, which can easily cause people and animals to get sick. The three main substances that pollute water are nitrates from fertilizers, sewage, and detergents. And not only that, but the organic and inorganic compounds in the water can change the composition of the precious resource that all life depends on. Water keeps us alive, and it's very important for us to have clean drinking water. There was a time when we would be able to safely drink from our faucets, but now we don't know if the water is really safe to drink, so we buy purified water in bottles. Did you know that in extreme cases, water pollution can cause problems as severe as cancer? Did you know that humans are the cause of water pollution? Many people throw out trash in the ocean, not thinking about what that may cause. Huge ships that carry oil can have accidents, spilling all of the toxic oil into the ocean. This causes chaos to our marine ecosystem and pollutes our waters. Did you know that there are areas in the Pacific Ocean where there are islands of trash? Even the Mariana Trench in the Pacific Ocean, which is the deepest point on Earth, there are scientists that have found plastic bags and beer cans. The Mariana Trench is like a hole in the ocean that is many miles deep, and trash has been found down there. Wow. The damage pollution does to our planet is visible. It can be best seen with coral reefs. Beautiful coral reefs will die if the oceans they live in become too warm or become too polluted. They are dying as the oceans warm up due to pollution in the sky, and therefore the atmosphere traps more sunlight on Earth and heats also the ocean water. Little living organisms and plant-like algae that live in the coral reef, that make the corals so colorful, well they start to die when the water around them becomes too warm, too hot. This causes the coral reefs to lose their color and the corals die. They are bleached as they turn white. This is called coral bleaching. When corals are dead, the sea life around it will also slowly die because they are not able to find enough food and shelter for survival. There's also air pollution. 
Air pollution happens by the smoke and harmful gases released by the fires that make vehicles and factories run. The most common type of air pollution comes from burning fuels, which looks like soot, with millions of tiny particles floating in the air. The use of coal, wood, and kerosene as fuels for fire also calls air pollution. The vehicles that we use to get around, like cars, planes, and trucks, also add to air pollution. These vehicles use fossil fuels like gas to power their engines and motors. If you ever seen the smoke that comes out of our vehicles, what you are seeing is carbon dioxide. Many people believe with all of the cars and trucks we have on the road that it causes a lot of pollution. But the toxic smoke coming out of our vehicles is just a small part of the air pollution problem today. Factories which are used to produce many of the consumer products we use every day also give off toxic substances that pollute the air. The air we breathe is made up of 99% nitrogen, water vapor, oxygen, and inert gases. But dangerous gases like carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxide, and chemical vapors are other things that we breathe in due to air pollution. This may cause breathing problems such as asthma or other health problems. It also causes diseases like cancer. Air pollution can also cause global warming. Global warming can cause increased temperatures, erratic rains, and drought worldwide. This makes it difficult for living organisms to survive. The greenhouse effect is the process by which heat in the Earth's atmosphere gets trapped by various gases, called greenhouse gases. Without the greenhouse effect, the Earth would be 30 degrees cooler than it is today. Increasing the levels of carbon dioxide in our atmosphere makes the greenhouse effect even stronger, and this causes global temperatures to rise, causing warmer weather and warmer ocean water. Tropical storms such as hurricanes, cyclones, and typhoons all get their power from the warm ocean. So the warmer the ocean, the stronger the storms are, and the more often they can happen. Want to know something that is really crazy? This will blow your mind. The number of garbage trucks Americans fill each year would stretch halfway to the moon. That's almost 120,000 miles. Toilet paper tubes that are made from cardboard take about 60 days to decompose in a landfill, but a plastic bottle, they take much longer. It can take over 450 years for a plastic bottle to break down. Remember how Quinn said she was going to throw all that garbage away because she didn't know how to make a cake? So remember this. Before you throw something away, think about whether it can be recycled or repurposed. Here are some ways to help the earth. Planting a tree. Researchers estimate roughly 15 billion trees in the world are cut down every year. Remember, trees absorb carbon dioxide, which we learned is bad for us and other life on the planet. The good news is that trees and plants absorb carbon dioxide and release oxygen for people and animals to breathe. So you can help prevent all these trees being cut down by planting a tree of your own. Turning off lights could help a lot too. Electricity doesn't just happen, it has to be produced from things around us. Many times electricity comes from the use of fossil fuels like coal and other natural gas. But electricity can also be made from renewable sources like wind, water, the sun, and even elephant poop. Try to limit how much water you use if you can. It might seem like water is everywhere, but clean, drinkable water is actually a limited resource. In fact, less than 1% of the water on our Earth can be used by humans. The rest of the water we see is either too salty or too hard to be used. One very simple way to save water is turning off the faucet when you brush your teeth. 
This can help save up to eight gallons of water a day per person. To help save even more water, try to take a shorter shower, but still clean yourself. You can also ride a bike or walk instead of drive all the time. Always, always, always put your trash in the trash can. Everyone should do their part, no matter how small. You can help the Earth in many ways, not only for Earth Day, but every day. Hey, did you learn something new? Then don't forget to sub and smash that like button, and we'll see you on the next Hey, Guess What? Boom! More than one billion people celebrate Earth Day to...